It's me, Snick and Creep. Woo woo. It's me, Snick and Creep. Woo woo. It's me, Snick and Creep. Creek, give me my wig. My name is Chantel. This is my furry companion, Creek. I have alopecia. I work four days a week, and we live in a van. A Chevy van, that is. A badass Chevy van, that is. By the name of Snicker Doodle. Welcome to our channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe. Let's get into it, y'all. Thank you. Hi, you guys. I am happy because I am finally going to use my Butane Coleman stove. This was gifted to me by Tess. And I've been having this for over a year. I've been afraid to use it. And then another thing is I couldn't find the right butane. And so today I finally found it at Walmart. For a long time, they hadn't had it. They were always out. And so today, I had a taste for some nachos. Like, <laughs> I love me some nachos. And I wanted some ground, some ground meat. And I didn't want to spend $10 on it. I wanted to try and make it. And so I have this electric lunch box. And what I was going to do is try to cook it in the electric lunch box. And I went on the camping aisle. And I happened to see the butane. And I was like, oh, snap. Let's see. Do I know how to open this? <laughs> okay. I'm telling y'all, I never use this. I think Tess is going to be so excited. Shoot, I'm going to be so excited if I can open this thing. Yeah, I've been scared. I've been scared to use the butane. And I don't know why I can't get this open. Come on, we. Y'all not supposed to see. Oh, it has it has a black zip tie on it. That's why I'm struggling. That's why I'm struggling. I told y'all. I have never used this before. You know, I just watched a YouTube video on it. It looks like it's really easy to use. To pull it out the pack it comes in this nice plastic case this is a, a single burner butane camping stove I gotta remember how to use this I wonder what the surface should be like. <sighs> Maybe I will cook it on the top of the case that it came in. Maybe that will be all right. Okay, so you open this up. I'm gonna tilt the camera now. And then this is the the butane fuel that goes with it. I'm gonna try to follow these instructions. Okay, I gotta lift up. I gotta lift up a little notch. I've been scared to try and use this thing. Okay. There's a little foot. I think everything is cool. Uh, I need to lock it in. Everything is off. Okay. So it's locked in there. I can close this. Okay, and now I'm like ready to, to cook with it. I'm working by the door just in case something happens and I need to open up my door. 
and throw this out. So I bought this cute little skillet. Hi, you guys. I'm gonna turn it on. It's locked in. Pray for me, y'all. Pray for me. Cooking in the van. Like, for real, van life. I hear it, you guys. Right now, all I smell is gas. That's not good. Just some air. Instead of having it on minimum, maybe I need to put it on high first. Maybe it takes a while. I'm not getting a flame. Ignite on. Ignition. I mean, I don't know how long I need to have this this running though. So. <gasps> Set gas control knob to. That's where it's at. Place in fuel can by aligning the collar, notch, and pin. I thought that I did that. Set the cartridge lever to lock. The lock position is in the locked position. Um, turn control knob to that to extinguish. I did that. Maybe something is not aligned, perhaps. Perhaps. And turn it on again. That's all the way on. And I'm not getting anything. So it looks like I'm not having my nachos with ground turkey tonight. I am gonna f around and just blow myself up. <laughs> people, people, people. Okay. That was very scary. I'm gonna try this again, people. I'm gonna lock it on in. In there, pretty snug. It's getting cold. gonna try to get a flame. I mean am I supposed to wait like 15 20 minutes for something to happen? Am I supposed to light it myself? I'm letting a lot of gas in here. I disengaged it. This sucks. The valve guide must be engaged with the notch in the cartridge collar. That's what I did. It is. Well, well. I got some ground turkey here that I can't put. I have one of these. Should I try to use one of these up against it to light it up? I just don't want nothing to catch on fire. Curtains catch on fire. It would be so embarrassing. I don't know how big the flame would get. Hmm. I do have a cup of water here that I could use just in case I needed to put out a fire. Oh my goodness, you guys. <laughs> I'm scared, y'all. I'm trying to cook. So I'm going to try it. 
I'm going to sit in back. I'm going to try to light it with this. If anything like look crazy and blow up in flames, I'm going to toss it right out the door. There we go. Yay. Yay, I can cook now. OMG. Sweet tea. All right. Skillet. Cool. And I'm going to get my ground turkey. like a little bit of the beautiful view and then my ground turkey Laurie's baby had a little little bit of issues in the beginning of using this butane stove because I had to light the pilot when they show this on YouTube no one ever did that so had I not had one of these on hand, I wouldn't have been able to use this, this stove tonight. I didn't see anything that actually said that I needed it. Awesome. Here I'm gonna be doing some more cooking in my van. Happy about it. And my meat is done. Fantabulous. I'm going to disengage the fuel. Here we have, folks. Just made some ground turkey because I'm about to have me some nachos. Thanks for watching. Maybe y'all want to see the ambiance of my van. See? Hey, Creek. Creek, say hi to the people. Say hi to the people, baby. Here we go, my, my little green man back there. You see both my guys in this view. Can y'all see? Peace out.